Make a Path presents Let's Talk. Kiyoshi Sasaki, thoughts and feelings regarding Fear of the Walking Dead. Psh, I don't know how much time do we have. <laughs> Listen, Fear of the Walking Dead, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much going to be The Walking Dead, just following a new group. But what I'm most excited about is having them, no, witnessing the fall of society. That's what I'm most excited about. Uh, to be honest, I couldn't give two shits about the characters, and I'm sorry, but we don't know anything right now. Enough, I'm sorry, we don't know enough right now. We haven't seen a trailer, we haven't gotten a look at the cast, and I'm not talking about profile images from IMDB, who gives a shit about that? That does not tell you about the cast. I want to see the cast in their roles, that kind of trailer. Right now, I just want to see the fall of society on the, the uh, um, I was about to say the big screen, but I want to see that on TV, the fall of society, that's what I want to see. To be honest, one of the things I'm most excited for, or I would say more eager for, is to see uh, the virus and how it attacks or how it cripples our society because if, as you guys know most of you know I'm working on a dead living and that's gonna be my zombie apocalypse story and in my story it the um, the fever that kills you burns you out it actually comes and eliminates a certain percentage of the population I don't want to give any too much away but uh, my and it's a fever it, it kills everyone first and it's actually a day two days later let's say 48 hours later where the zombie aspect comes and I think that's something that I thought was interesting as far as the way it happens in my story again I'm trying not to give out too much information or spoil it for any of the readers that follow a dead living and again that is a working title so don't get too uh, connected with that title but what happens is a, a fever like a flu will wipe everyone out first for a couple days we're not talking a fever hits and in the same day you see zombies that's not how it happens it's a, a fever there's a mass panic and in my story it's focusing on the panic and the flu the zombies is something that catches everyone off guard so in that aspect I'm very curious to see how they're doing it and what's their version of events how does their story play out that is the thing I'm most eager to see play out in fear of the walking dead watching uh, the virus and the crippling of society and that's why I would love to sit down and talk to Kirkman especially because he's writing the Walking Dead comic he's writing for the TV show he's doing Fear the Dead I would love to talk to him about uh, the breakdown of society because that to me it's not only the most complicated to write and I believe that that's most likely that most likely encouraged him to skip it in the original The Walking Dead because that's very complicated to write If you sat down and thought how am I going to write the breakdown of society? You're like, oh, that'll be easy. I'll just have people running everywhere. No, if you break it down, the fire department, the police, you know what I'm saying? These are the Na National Guard, the Army, the Reserves. You, na you break it all down. It's all individual people. They have families themselves. When you have a war, or there's a fire, or you have police breaking up some kind of nightclub fight, those are individuals who know their family's safe. They're going to go and make this area safe. You have firefighters going to a fire. The fire is here. What happens when that firefighter has a fire at this stranger's house, or there's a fire at his own house at the same time? This is one of the most... No, this is what grips me to an apocalypse story, especially a zombie apocalypse story, is because the fire is at both the houses. But symbolically speaking, there is a fire at everyone's house, you know? And the fireman has to choose, where is he going to go? To his own house or to the stranger's house? And that's why I love when you write the breakdown of society in a zombie apocalypse story, what are the cops going to do if he's hearing these calls about society breaking down is downtown but his family at home is dying of this fever his son just died his daughter's sick his wife feels sick she's calling him like this is crippling our home it's killing all of us where are you at what are you gonna do and that's what I think people don't understand because there's one part in my story where one of the lead characters that we follow in the very beginning he runs into somebody who's not so nice and he tells him he says listen what do you hear 
we don't hear any sirens and he's like yeah you know that's confirmation this is worse than you could possibly imagine it's the day where you don't hear sirens that's the day you know shit hit the fan you know all this rambling about fear of the walking dead and zombie apocalypse stories breaking down i'm gonna put this in its own special bonus video so don't sweat it <laughs> subscribe now <laughs>